You're listening to Sunshine. Welcome back to Table Talk with Leah. With me in the studio now is the CEO of Epilepsy WA, Emma Batendark, and she's here to shed some light on the condition of epilepsy as well as to share some of the exciting events coming up in the purple month of March, which is almost upon us. Emma, welcome to Table Talk. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So good. Now, Emma, most people would have some idea of epilepsy or they would have heard it at least, but... Can you clarify for us, what exactly is epilepsy? Absolutely. So people living with epilepsy experience seizures. Mm. And any of us can have a seizure. And in fact, one in 10 of us will have at least one seizure in our life. Oh, wow. And one in 25 of us will be diagnosed with epilepsy. Now, seizures occur when there's a disruption to the electrical signals of the brain. Okay. Okay. Yes. Wow. I'm actually astounded that one in 10 of us will have a seizure, seizure, I'm saying that wrong, a seizure um, throughout our life. Now, is it something that can develop into epilepsy or is it just one occurrence means that you would have a diagnosis? What does that look like? So for someone to be diagnosed with epilepsy, generally speaking, they need to have experienced two or more unprovoked seizures. Mm. And there are a variety of tests that people undertake to establish if they do actually have epilepsy. Mm. But it's really important that we acknowledge that there's there's a lot of West Australians who are are doing it tough and their families who are living with this condition. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's the thing, isn't it? It doesn't just... um, uh, impact the person per se, but it's also the family and the support network. Um, how much have you seen in your experience the, the impact on the family as well? Look, that's absolutely the case. Um, research shows that parents of a child with epilepsy will experience PTSD mm. at a rate as high as one in four. Wow. Yep. A, a diagnosis of epilepsy absolutely impacts the whole family. And, and that's why I'm asking the Sunshine family to Mm. stand with Epilepsy WA this March to Mm. help raise awareness of this very common but not spoken about condition. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm wondering as well, um, you're the CEO of Epilepsy WA. Is there anything happening in uh, a survey or research space at the moment? Well, actually, there is. So you mentioned that it's uh, Epilepsy Awareness Month in March. And, you know, it's a time that we can all come together and bring epilepsy out of the shadows. And, Epilepsy WA, we're a, we're a charity that doesn't receive recurrent state government funding and mm. we work really hard to support West Australians living with this condition and their family, but also to positively lobby for change where change is needed. And so we're actually going to be conducting the largest ever survey oh, yeah. of people's experience in regards to epilepsy across the state, epilepsy diagnosis and epilepsy care. Mm. And, you know, we want to look at the the wonderful things that are happening in terms of the, the care that's provided, but also some of the areas where perhaps there might be some, some, some need for improvement. Yeah, yeah, to see where the gaps are as well and where you can um, bring what is needed to those spaces for the families and for the people as well. Absolutely. So good. We're going to take a break. Now, Emma, before we throw to that song, you were talking about uh, epilepsy and I wanted to ask you, are there different types of epilepsy out there? Indeed, there are. So a seizure is caused by a a burst of uncontrolled uh, electrical activity in the brain. Mm. And when you think about about how seizures are uh, portrayed on television, some, someone usually drops to the ground and shakes. And of course, that is one type of seizure. That's mm. a, a generalised tonic-clonic seizure. However, there are many other seizure types and there's over 40 different types of oh, epilepsy. Wow. Okay. I'm blown away by that. I will, to me, I thought it was just that one. And you're right, it's the one often that's shown on movies, TV shows, media. Um, is it something that you're born with or is it something that you can develop? So anyone at any time can be diagnosed with epilepsy. Mm. For most people, they don't know why they have epilepsy. They just suddenly start having seizures. Mm. However, for some people, like my niece Sarah, who lives with uncontrollable seizures, she had a stroke when she was 12. So she now has seizures as a part of her life. Uh, So, you know, head injuries, uh, genetic causes. Mm. Uh, Some people uh, acquire epilepsy at birth. 
Okay. And is there ways to decrease the frequency of it as you go through life or is it once it starts, there's not a whole lot that can be done? So some forms of epilepsy, like some forms of childhood epilepsy, hopefully over time can mm. resolve. Mm. However, there, there are unfortunately several types of epilepsies which do not resolve, that do not respond to treatment. So if, if we look at the statistics, we know that 100,000 current West Australians will be diagnosed with epilepsy. So wow. 100,000 of us will be diagnosed with epilepsy. My goodness, that's, that's huge. We know that um, 70% of people with epilepsy will respond to anti-seizure medications okay. once they find that, that, that right mix of medications. Mm, okay, so that's even quite a journey for them sometimes to discover that? It is indeed. And, you know, just because someone is seizure-free doesn't mm. mean that epilepsy is not impacting their life and their family's life. Yeah, absolutely. And I suppose that brings us now to Purple Month, which is coming up in March. And uh, you've got an array of different events um, coming up. In fact, there's one this Friday, from what I understand. Um, would you tell us about the conference this Friday? So on the 1st of March... At our home in Netherlands, which is right next door to Sir Charles Gardner and the Perth Children's Hospital, we have a free conference for members of Epilepsy WA. Amazing. Five neurologists and epileptologists are speaking. These are top experts. Mm. Plus, we have lived, experienced insights throughout the day from epilepsy warriors mm. who, who are living life with seizures. And then we also have a, a neuropsychiatrist speaking because... People with epilepsy may experience depression at a rate as high as one in two. Jeez. So it's really important that we are looking at this holistically and yeah. looking at all areas of the person's well-being. Yeah, so important, hey, because it's not just the body that's being impacted. It's also their mental health and, like we said, their relationships in their family too. And uh, if, if someone wanted to come along to this and they're not part of the, they're not a member, are there tickets available for purchase? There are, absolutely. So if you just jump online to epilepsywa.asn.au, you'll be able to buy uh, conference tickets online and also conference, um, not just conference tickets, but actually walk tickets because we have a big walk yes, coming up. Yes, okay, so I, w I want to hear about this walk because that's coming up on, is it a su Saturday or Sunday? It's a Sunday. Sunday, yes. Tell us, what's happening there? So on the 17th of March, we are asking the WA community to come to Edinburgh Oval South at Curtin University. We're going to walk around a one kilometre paved path led by the Perth Metro Pipe Band. Oh, wow. We've got live entertainment by Ezra Reeve. We've got a cuddly animal farm. <laughs> We've got fun and games for all the family. And what we're wanting to do is raise vital awareness and much needed funds yeah. for Epilepsy WA. Yeah, absolutely. And with those um, monies that are raised, where are they going to be going towards? So Epilepsy WA has the largest network of support groups in Australia. So we have support groups, six of them a month, mm -hmm. that are, are run by nurses. And they are really well attended. And we're always encouraging people to come and join our community, come and meet others who are going through it through a similar journey. We, we loan out seizure alert bed mats mm. free of charge wow. to help families get a good night's sleep. Yeah, so important. <laughs> We have a helpline as well. Mm. We provide free resources. We provide a, a peer support, compassionate ear service. Amazing. Amazing. Such important work. Emma, you were sharing about Purple Walk for Epilepsy WA that's coming up um, on Sunday, March 17th. And uh, I loved you were sharing about a band that's going to be leading the way. That's right. Bagpipes. Bagpipes. A bagpipe band. Oh, my gosh. I love bagpipes. And uh, an animal farm. There's going to be activities um, for everyone in the family, really. And this is something where people can get a team together. Is that right? That's correct. They can indeed. And and dress up. You dress up in purple. I love it. And uh, if, if there are uh, people out there wanting to get a team together or they can do it individually, where do they have to go? Is there a registration? There is. So they can jump onto Epilepsy WA's website mm -hmm. or visit Purple Walk, then the number four, Epilepsy WA. 
www.ruby.com.au. Amazing. And so just get on there, register, get a team together, rally your purple. And uh, I, I'm guessing there's going to be some purple tutus. I feel like they always make a show at these sorts of things. And I wanted to ask you as well. So we've talked about the conference this coming Friday. That's on. Uh, we've talked about the walk, but this one I found really fascinating. You have landmarks across WA that are lighting up in purple. Tell me about this. We do. So on Purple Day, International Purple Day for Epilepsy Awareness, we have almost 50 landmarks wow. illuminating purple to bring epilepsy out of the shadows in WA. So if anyone knows any landmarks... yes. Or any businesses right. that want to go purple. Any business out, out there that want to get involved, you can jump on the website, I'm sure. And uh, even onto Sunshine, there'll be some links there as well. Now, Emma, to, to wrap up today, I wanted to ask you, what because ep- epilepsy, from what even just talking with you off air and on air today, it, it seems like there's a big gap in our education around epilepsy. And I wanted you to be able to have the floor. What message would you want to convey to the public about epilepsy awareness, especially considering that this is something that anyone can be impacted by and the onset can come on at any point in life. That's right. So it's probably important that I point out that Epilepsy WA does offer training, schools, workplaces, disability agencies. Mm. Uh, The World Health Organization has previously said that epilepsy is the most stigmatized, misunderstood and under-resourced of all health conditions. Wow. So if I had one message, it would be for for the family, the the listeners of Sunshine, to to stand with Epilepsy WA, to visit our Facebook page, Mm. like our Facebook page, find Epilepsy WA and, and be part of our community so together we can break down the stigma we Mm. can make epilepsy something that people aren't afraid to speak about yeah yes very good it's about the awareness but also removing that stigma for those people who are experiencing it and the families involved as well emma thank you so much for your time today i really appreciate you coming in thanks for having me if you have just tuned in that was the ceo of epilepsy wa emma bait and dark some great insights into the world of those with an epilepsy diagnosis there and some great opportunities to get involved and support Epilepsy WA in the coming weeks. It is Purple Month and everything will be on the website sunshine.com.au. You can get yourself involved with that. 